guy's hand in the lock, so rather you punch high or low, you can use his hand. Because right? so, yeah. you already have his hand, so you use it as a handle, especially if it's you got a broken knee hits or something. You can, you can use his hand to exit, because you already have it. It's not like he can resist you if you break it, right? That's this part of the form. So, wouldn't matter if it's here. Okay, so... That, and this part, when I drag it down, that's this part of the form, right? I keep referencing the form just so people that are new here will understand why we do the form. It's not just because it's an exercise. Bam. See how I use his hand there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Now I'm just doing it through feel, so I don't even know what I'm doing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kind of? Okay. Just this. And yeah, this is something you You see something high for. But you're doing it with your guys' hand. So you're not just doing that, right? Okay, punches. Matter. As soon as you get the guy's hand, you're like, yeah, because you can feel his spine. So whatever he does, you know what he's going to do. So, okay, we'll do that. So you grab, and then you sink down with the grabbing hand, and then block him with his own arm kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Instead of letting it go and trying to find where his arm is, right? Yeah. Go for it. Three, right? So now any number you want, you punch the guy. You're, this is actually not a block. I just showed you this so you can get your elbow in. You wouldn't do this. In, if you're going to use this, once you get to here, you continue. But if I were to show you this first, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get hit because your elbow's in the wrong place. That means put your elbow in, fight for the center. This is the center. I want to occupy it. So your punch becomes the block. The block is the punch punch. The block. <laughs> so you jumps out, continue. This hand must back you up. Because just because you're here, a lot of guys do this, and they go, ha ha, I got him. Yeah, but class is not a fight, right? In a fight, a guy can take a punch, a lot of tough guys, and they continue. A lot of guys take a punch, right? And you take a punch and just grab whatever they can grab. In this case, my eyes. Right? I go, oh yeah, but I got the guy. Well, yeah, but he's tough. <laughs> he gets the guy. So you gotta make sure this hand's right there. So if he does grab my eyes, he touches it. If he touches it, he triggers to up. So what I do from there depends on what I feel, you know? So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna grab each other's eyes. I'm just explaining. <laughs> <laughs> and this is good. <laughs> so from here, bang. Make sense? If you're punching with this hand, step with this foot. So I did it wrong. Eventually it doesn't matter, but for now, do that. That'll give you way more power line. Does this make sense? Cool? Okay, let's, let's play with that. Uh, give it four inches. No? No. Yeah. Knees breathe. Make your knees breathe. Make your knees breathe. That's what I teach you in the military before you shoot, right? Why? Because it works. Because if you analyze while you're mad, and you just get more fucking mad. Because analyzation, thinking, is tension, right? If you think a lot, you get a headache. After exam, you get to sleep, right? Thinking is tension. Don't think. Think later when you're calm. But if you want to calm down, control your breathing, bend your knees. Control your chest. Right? So the guy's coming up to you, go rage, whatever. He's like, fucking chain, fuck you, blah, 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 blah. Before I do anything, bend my knees, breathe. Then whatever comes out of my mouth is not going to be something I wish I never said. Nothing is worse than finding yourself in a situation you really hope you didn't get yourself into. But you did. You got yourself into it. And you really wish. You know what I mean? 
So in order for that to happen, you got to bend. Before I say anything, bend your knees, breathe. And whatever comes out of my mouth is at least something I meant, not something that I'm just losing my shit. Do you do it for a long time or just once or whatever? That's it. But it depends on practice. If you're like, say, if you have a personality that's very edgy, you probably would take you a long time to calm down, right? Let's say if you're already a pretty nice guy to begin with, then it'll take you a shorter time. Let's say you're a guy that meditates once a week, that will take you even shorter time. Let's say you're the type of guy that practices it, Qigong seven days a week, like that, you come. Let's say you get a lot of combat experience shooting people, then you calm really fast. Like good snipers doesn't take a long time to calm down, because they rookie snipers, they take a long day, right? Still shaking, still shaking. You're gonna miss if you're shaking, right? So, bet your knees, calm down. This guy's giving me shit, he wants my money, he, I looked at his girlfriend by mistake, whatever the hell people get mad about these days. Bet your knees, breathe. Before you say anything, before you do anything, that's more important than what you're doing. Because if you screw up the first part and you lose your shit, whatever you do next is going to be bad. Whatever you say next is going to be bad. Does it make sense? Because the computer is bad. So whatever comes out of it, the command center is shit. So whatever I do is shit. <laughs> Fix the software, I mean the hardware first, right? So, bend your knees, calm down, right? That would stop you from doing this, which just break my own wrist doing that. And now you can do that. The reason why I'm taking the time to tell you this is because I can show you martial art, but if you're not calm, none of it's going to work. If this is bad, this is going to be bad. Right? Okay. Brad, and hit the, hit the <laughs>